Hey good people, welcome. I have been asked several times by many of you, you can check the video comments of all my Afro videos, to share how I have learned to decrease single strand knots while wearing my Afro. And I didn't want to come on before now and give you like conclusive things until I went about a month without excessive knots and I've done that. And so today I'm gonna to share with you what I've learned about decreasing knots while wearing my Afro. It's so, I just, I love the Afro. And in today's video, I am partnering with Trelex Hair Care. I'm gonna show you how I did this Afro while I also show and tell you how I decrease single strand knots. So first things first, in as few words as possible, why do new single strand knots form? So the hair sheds, 50 to 100 strands a day and that's a lot of strands because I have a kinky coily type of hair those strands do not all fall out of my hair instead either they just stick around until I detangle and do something to get them out or they knot up a single strand knot also known as a fairy knot is when one strand forms a knot with itself however in that process it can also grab other strands and create a larger knot uh, as well. Sometimes you could take a little needle or the point of a safety pin and undo these knots. It's great. Or sometimes you can do that to slip the knot out of the strands. However, a lot of the times, most of the times, you just gotta cut the knot out, which is why it is ideal to not have a lot of them. If you have a lot of them, what are you doing? You're cutting off all your progress. Um, your hair can end up choppy, or you could just lose all your length. So, so when you have highly textured hair, it's important to figure out how to have less knots. First and foremost, and the rule, just no matter what hairstyle you have, is keep your hair moisturized, no matter what. There is no substitute when wearing your hair out. If you let your hair dry out at all, you're going to get tangles and knots. And the only way to keep your hair moisturized, like once it's dry, is to make sure you're using products that help your hair retain moisture. If your hair is dry a day after you wash it, the products you're using don't work for you. Straight up point blank period. I like this Trey Lux combo because it moisturizes my hair but leaves it light and soft. When you have fine hair like me, it's very easy to weigh it down. I love the untie the knot leave-in conditioner. I've waxed lyrical about it before. Uh, I love it because I can apply it to wet hair and it leaves the hair moisturized. It's such a light consistency that it's not gonna weigh my hair down. Never ever does. So add a bit more weight and conditioning agents to my strands. I add the Curl Supreme 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream. This helps protect my hair while it's in an afro. The heavier ingredients in this product work with this one to keep my hair moisturized for days. One unique thing I do is oil rinsing. I always oil rinse when I'm gonna wear my hair in an afro and as it gets cooler, I oil rinse as well. Um, I pretty much oil rinse most of the year at this point, especially if you have longer hair, let's say over eight inches. Uh, it can be really useful if you have my texture. What oil rinsing does is one, it prevents huge evaporation, right? It keeps the water in your strand just because oil is heavier than water, but it also provides lubrication between your strands. If you have split ends or anything along those lines, that shed hair is less likely to knot up if the strands are still lubricated, right? And so oil rinsing helps me keep the moisture in but at the same time it's helping decrease single strand knots so I did that when I washed my hair I did an oil rinse before applying conditioner so I'm taking care of moisture but also accounting for any kind of splits that may be forming as well speaking of splits you cannot have bad ends and wear your hair out I don't care what the style is if you have coily or kinky hair Bad ends are just a bad recipe. You're gonna have tangles and you're gonna have knots no matter what you do. But actually, something I don't mention a lot is that I dust my ends at will. If I see that something needs to go, I will cut it off. That's why I keep a pair of scissors in my vanity. It's so that I can cut off any ends that I see that need to go. I wear my hair out most of the time. I mean, 
most of the year. And I just find that having good ends is the only way to not lose my hair and the only way to not have incredibly long detangling sessions throughout the year. Now, I like to go to the salon and get a trim, like a cut, uh, a couple times a year, but I could just dust my ends and not do that. Like, I really could get away with not doing that. I like to maintain a particular shape, so I go to the salon. But if you don't care about shape, just pick up a pair of scissors and get rid of any bad ends. They are a recipe for disaster. You can learn the easy way or you can learn the hard way. You gotta get rid of the bad ends. And I think one thing that I show more than I mention is that I have to keep my hair stretched in some way. I'm not saying stretch it, stretch it, because the shrinkage is what helps me have an afro, right? I don't wanna stretch, stretch my hair, right? But in the evenings or even when I'm exercising, I use these to keep my hair stretched, right? I don't use bonnets anymore. I haven't used bonnets in I think a year or two really uh, because it allows my hair to smush and when I'm wearing it out like this, I don't want it to smush. I want it to remain somewhat stretched. Right? This is natural to my hair. All I do is pull it out to shape whatever shape I want. But I do keep my hair stretched and that's been a really big question I have received in all of these videos and I found that there is a happy medium between continually stretching my hair with banding and um, twist outs and braids and things like that and letting my hair do what it naturally does. For me, this is how I do that. And another thing I do to ensure that my hair stays moisturized for the full week is midweek, I re-moisturize my hair. I do it in a way that won't disturb the afro, but I'm still giving my hair a bit more water and something to trap that water in to get to the end of the week because I don't want to wash my hair. When I'm wearing wash and goes, I frequently talk about the fact that I put a serum on my ends to keep my hair moisturized. And I do the same with the afro. I realize that I got to do that for every single style I wear. So midweek, I'll go in, I'll take a light moisturizer. The untie the knot leave-in conditioner is perfect for this. And I will take one pump of it and that is what I'll use for my entire head. I don't want to destroy the style, but I do want to moisturize my ends, the parts of the hair that are more likely to dry out and not. And so I go and I scrunch it in, right? Just like this. Make sure I'm getting it everywhere. Right? And I have moisturized my hair. And then I apply an oil or a serum on top. Again, it adds that weight, it adds that protection, and it allows my hair to remain moisturized while out for the rest of the week. One thing I learned years ago by just experimenting with my own hair is that after 72 hours or three days, the effects of the conditioner really are gone. I have to add water and conditioning agents again to re-moisturize my strands so that they don't tangle up or not before the next wash day. And so using the untie the knot with an oil or serum, which I love the reflex serum, cause it's light, and yet it has conditioning agents and all the ingredients I need to keep my hair moisturized. Because I use these, by the end of the week, my hair is still moisturized. If you haven't watched my weekend afro video, I'll link it, but you'll see that my hair is still moisturized and it still feels soft and it's still healthy and I'm not getting a bunch of knots. So before I touch on the last thing, I did want to mention that Trelux is having a Black Friday sale. It's coming up and this is definitely when I would cop me some Trelux. So from November 27th through the 29th, you can get 30% off at discovertreylux.com and if you spend $50 or more, you'll get free shipping as well. Use the code BF30 to take advantage of this offer. And as you guys know, I am a big fan of stocking up on your products for the year during Black Friday. So if you've ever been interested in Trelux, this will be the time to cop those products. Also, I have plenty of videos sharing how I use these products in different ways. I think I've done all the things with these products. So I'll link them above and below. And I know many of you have tried them. So in the comments, let us know what you thought of any of the products from Trelux Hair Care. So the last thing I want to say before I go 
is single strand knots are a natural part of kinky natural hair care. You're gonna get some single strand knots. It's impossible to avoid. However, they don't have to be excessive. You shouldn't have to cut 20 knots out of your hair every week. Even if you have to trim a few, okay, but you shouldn't have to trim your every strand every single week. That's when it becomes excessive. So I encourage you to use these tips to figure out how to decrease your single strand knots because it really just helps with the overall manageability of natural hair. And this does not just apply to the Afro. I will say that with the Afro, any bad hair care practices I may have are amplified, right? It's super important to have healthy hair care practices. If you do not have good healthy hair care practices, this style will gather you together with single strand knots. So in the comments below, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you wear the Afro more frequently. Um, it is always an option to just pull it out occasionally and not wear it every week, but to keep it in your arsenal. And until next time, be well, be safe, and find a bit of joy in every day. Bye.